Okay, folks, we have standing by all the way from somewhere in Oregon. Dan Harlacker's here from On One. We know a lot of you guys have On One stuff, but uh, their new effects stuff is that's a product, right? On One stuff? On One stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. perfect stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, How you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Uh, good, Dan. Yeah. Dan, is there a new product coming out called, called On One Stuff AI? Ooh, stuff AI. Yeah. Yeah, why not? So everything else is AI. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So so you guys, you know, uh, I, I've been a, a huge fan, and I use it more than I've ever thought that I would. I, mm -hmm. I've always been an anti-noise reduction guy, Dan. I've always been. Because, mm -hmm. and I always told people, you know what noise reduction does? I know why. You spend all this money on a body and all this money on a lens. And all it does is blur it. That's it. That's what but, it was. But this AI stuff that you guys are doing is ridiculous. Eric and I did a workshop in New York City. I'm having to shoot at 20,000 ISO or some ridiculous yeah, amount no at problem. night. What that thing did and retained the detail. And I and that was the old version. I haven't, I haven't even seen the new one. So, are you going to show us the new one? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. let's, let's see show you it. Some, let's uh, show what the new one can do. So, let's start off. Uh, we'll do a bird second because we always look at bird. So, let's look at a landscape first. So, I'm just going to pick a photo. This is a Neff. Let's send it off to No Noise. So, this is going to take that original Neff. It's going to send it over to us. And I think this, the stuff you just went splash. through is something that people miss sometimes is that going to that plug-in extras rather than just right-clicking on it. But yes. Yeah. That is that's how you're getting that. That's, that that's you how you're getting that NEF over types. there. Yeah. 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 You get the file type. And I actually have, there's a little intermediate dialog that comes up to let you pick all your file format settings. I just have it set to do the same thing every time. I just want to DNG every yep. time. So. Yep. Me too. Uh, here we are. This is 100%. I'm going to zoom in one more time because it's kind of hard to see through the screen share. And let's take a look at a before. Yeah. So that's like, the original <laughs> photo, crazy. no noise reduction right there. Can what you guys see the, the noise, I assume? A yes, little bit. I, I could not, totally see it. It's yeah. all over the place. Yeah, I can see okay. it on the mountain stuff and the trees. Yeah. Yeah, and even, even in that sky, that sky is, is pretty, pretty oh, chunky. Yeah. This is what, uh, Nikon Z6. Oh, uh, yeah, fairly the high high water stuff. too is just full of it. Yeah, so let me turn it on here. Zip. There we go. Oh, I guess that's what yeah. I want. That's the picture yeah. I saw. There we go. Let me actually going to make a little little adjustment here, just for my own personal taste here. Let's make a slight adjustment to it. So the big thing you're going to notice is if you look at these little spots where these little trees are at, you know, if you look at the before, how would you ever know that there were little trees on the side of that mountain? It's just golf ball sized noise. But because it has seen so many photos like it, it knows that look, there's supposed to be little little trees and little little uh, ravines and things like that. So it removes that noise. The sky is clean. There's no halos. All the individual branches mm. on the trees are there and crisp. Oops, I have to grab the right thing. There we go. So you kind of see before and after. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's yeah. that's All what right. it. It's just crazy what it does. Yeah. Let me show you a couple others because there's every photo is a little different. Well, and different. to. Uh, and matters. and Dan, like, what was the what was the noise or what was the ISO on that? Just to I start think out. is uh, sixteen thousand. So that exactly. was a pretty high Exactly. So that's yeah. where I'm saying you're already you you started at sixteen thousand. Imagine most of my shooting might be at sixty four hundred <laughs> or thirty two hundred. Like wow. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at a bird because everybody like cares about birds when it comes to noise reduction. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at this one. <laughs> And it is 12,800. Okay. Woo. Let's zoom in here a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Right, so that's yeah. the, yeah, there we go. All right, so there's before and after. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so look at the detail big, it brings out, too. Difference. I mean, that's, and yeah. what Scott said, that that's the key with noise reduction. Up until a few years ago, a lot of noise reduction was just really blurring or softening your image it really wasn't removing the noise where this is wiping out the noise it's all that's the way i like it. it's like you shot that you shot that shot at twelve thousand eight hundred, and it's like you wiped it down to like 800 iso or 400 iso it's like you just wiped out the noise yep and you have all the control over how much you really want to remove i'm kind of in the same camp as scott i don't like it to be completely sterile you want it to have some tooth 
to it. You want to make yeah. it look like a photo, not a video. So you can dial in the amount of both luminance and color noise reduction. You know, I'll use, I leave the color all the way up, whoever wants color noise, but I might bring the luminance down to like 80 so you get a little bit of that tooth mm-hmm. left over and you can control how much additional sharpening gets applied to things as well. And you can even do that on multiple layers and use masks to combine them. You still end up with a DNG at the end of the day, but you can actually have selective sharpening and selective noise reduction with this as well. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, let me show you one more because we didn't talk about de-blurring. So there's actually two products in one. It does noise reduction, but it also does de-blurring. And de-blurring is not the same same thing as sharpening. When we think of sharpening, that's kind of a, you know, adding an additional sharpness that wasn't there. De-blurring actually is reversing the the blur of the lens of the blur of the subject. So let me show you kind of what that can do too. And you can even combine those two together in here. Uh, Let's see, where's a photo with some blur? Where'd that little owl go? Here we go. Here's a good example. So this is actually a JPEG in this case, but this works on raw photos as well. This happens to all of us, especially with people, things that are moving. You know, you get a shot where the composition is great, but there's, gosh darn it, just a tiny little bit of blur. That's like, you know, most of mm-hmm. us would end up having to throw that shot away. It's not going to work. But watch, I'm just going to switch over to Tack Sharp, and this will actually reduce that blur. There wow. You go. Yeah, yeah tax sharp. Goes from tax sharp out of focus. I, I don't know so. why it's not a separate application. I mean, it's great that you include it <laughs> in that one, but it's. I mean, just as a standalone sharpening thing, it does an amazing job. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, and I, I, go, I get what you're saying. Like the yin and yeah. yang, you, know, you get that noise reduction and deep blurring. They kind of need to go together. You kind of have to adjust them both at the same time. So that's why we put them together. Um, yeah. Yeah, and the other thing I love is that you can actually. Uh, run both with this where you can actually mm-hmm. take out the noise and then do that sharpening as well yep, yep definitely yeah just using this both option over here mm-hmm. this photo doesn't actually have any have a lot of noise so it doesn't really need to use the the both option but that'll actually help you wipe it away but that's one of those ones that's really useful to be able to combine the two and do them on different layers so that mm-hmm. you can affect them differently i'll do that a lot where i'll add extra noise reduction to the background so i get a really really smooth background yeah, it's less have... on my subject so it's a little sharper so. yeah because that's a good point dan you haven't even gotten into the fact that you can adjust this through masks to mm-hmm. do sharpening on certain areas do noise reduction on certain areas change the settings i mean that's what i that's what other applications i see just don't have they don't have that ability to really go in because i find a lot of my noise resides in certain parts of my image right. so i'll attack that part of the image rather than just trying to attack all the noise yeah exactly you know a lot of times it's those dark areas or yep. or uh, you know those more continuous tone areas that'll get you let me show you one more just because i know that uh, a lot of folks are uh, interested in astro and noise reduction in astro is a bit tricky because it's really hard to know what's a star versus mm-hmm. what's noise so that you know you can either end up erasing more than you want or you end up uh, creating stars that weren't there or you end up fuzzing i mean i've seen a lot where the all the trails look like they're kind of going in different directions which is weird so let's zoom in here a little bit i'm actually going to go to about 300 on this one and let's take a look at before and after on this one this is what this is a sony at 3200 iso so that's the before mm-hmm a second so you guys can see it yep and then after the noise reduction yeah and so that's what it is stars. it's yeah, those tiny it's, little guys yeah it's wiping yeah. out all the noise but then it's keeping but not only is it keeping the stars uh it retains the sharpness because that's a that's a hard thing too is sometimes with noise reduction it'll eat into your stars to where to dull them or not have them mm-hmm. sharp and that's what um you know the story here i guess would be you know i know dan uh you a, a while back you had sent me an email asking you know about you know no noise because we we use it a lot and you know asking about like okay well what's what's the what's your main concern with noise reduction uh, you know and i was talking about well really you want to remove that noise but you still want to retain that sharpness in the stars retains retain that sharpness in the landscape and that's one of the things that i think on one no noise 2023 did very well but you also sent me a file that was a bunch of different comparisons of noise reduction that you would run on a on a astro images and you would ask me well what you what do you think worked the best and and it was funny because i was going through all the options and i kind of went 
well, that one kind of looks like it's Lightroom's noise reduction, or that one kind of looks like it was, um, you know, Topaz's noise reduction. And then I got to this one, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. And I, I think I responded to you, and I said, I don't know which one this one is, but it's the one I want because I hadn't <laughs> seen anything really retain that much sharpness yeah. in the stars. Uh, and not soften the image. And you responded back and said, well, good, because that's the one we're developing. So that, that's why I'm excited about this product because since then I've been like, well, that's exactly what I want. If, if you could take the, I, and I think that shot was shot at like 12,800 or, or maybe 6,400, 6, it was one of those. But having that level of noise and still retaining that detail in the stars and then actually making it look better, I was like, well, that's what I want. So. Yeah, no, that's great. That's exactly uh, exactly what the goal is, and uh, yeah. yeah, I think we've done uh, a really good job on. Uh, and there's actually multiple models that sit behind this, but there's one for raw denoising, one for uh, Fuji denoising because their sensors are different. One for uh, a photo that's already been debared or demosaic, kind of new JPEGs, tiffs, mm -hmm. and then separate ones for deblurring. And we basically built all new ones of those, and then tune the way they interact together. And then also have, when they're used in batch processing, we've also made the batch processing significantly faster. Depending on your hardware, it can be up to twice as fast doing batch exporting as well. So yeah, we're pretty proud of it. We think folks are really gonna dig it. And uh, you know, I spend all day looking through the results and comparing it to the competitors. And I've gotta say that you know, the majority of the time we beat everybody else out there. So we can't wait to get it in people's hands here pretty soon. Yeah, hey Dan, uh, Thomas is asking, uh, is, the no, is the no noise cloud-based? I think, no, this is all done locally on your right. machine. Yeah, you don't have to be connected yeah. to the internet or any of that stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. which is another nice all right. part. Uh, all right, somebody had a suggestion. They want to know, on a future show, could you come and uh, on when we do the how would I edit your photo segment? So we do a segment, sure. well, once or a month or so, where we go and you would be a guest fixer. <laughs> so, go. How would Dan fix your photo? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I like, I like that. All it. right, all right, great. Thank you. That's a great suggestion, Natalie. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, well, thank you very much for giving us a sneak peek of that. You guys are doing some amazing stuff, so congratulations. Please high-five your team for us. They're doing some cool stuff, <laughs> Yeah, some it is. Cool it's stuff, cool man. stuff. Yeah, I'm telling you, you save us a bunch of time because we used to have to do so many. Like, to get that results from an astro photo, you have to spend, like, a half an hour to get one shot that looks like that because you'd have to – stack and you'd have to do all this stuff and then combine it in the computer and now it's like one hey, button hey eric yeah I, I wouldn't know oh i know you wouldn't know <laughs> but i'm telling you i know all right and it well, saves again, a bunch dan. of time we appreciate you it betcha. take care and Next uh else. everybody uh, thank you dan everybody else stick around we got some